Hello, Superherd, and welcome back to ARMS. And today we're gonna be continuing on with the Grand Prix, of course, with a new character. That would be Twintel, one of the most popular characters. And honestly, I haven't played Twintel yet. We're gonna do level three difficulty because I think that's what I can handle with her. Seems like a very, very cool character, so I'm excited to try her out together with you. Now, I know she has like a weird reflective thing with her dodge that we're gonna find out together. I th I think it's just like really weird. It's definitely unique. Ladies and gents, turn off those blow dryers because you're tuned in to the Arms Grand Brain. I'm Biff and I'll be your commentator today. As always, I'm here to talk about all things arms. Okay, roll out the red card, but the silver screen queen herself, Twintel, is making an entrance. She's 26, she's an arms fighter, but it's not her arms you need to worry about. It's her hair that packs a punch. How can she control her hair? That's really weird. So keep your eyes on the shiny silvery locks. Sniffing luxury fragrances as her hobbies. Raise yourselves, people. The Orange Grand Prix is about to start. Very cool. I mean, I think she's a very cool character. She's definitely one of the most popular characters. I think she's one of the most mainstream, which is pretty cool. And she has such a cool attitude to her. Um, it's Wintel versus the Man of Mystery Helix. Goo from his signature Blorb arms can get an opponent's eyes and blind them. Being as glamorous as she is, it's kind of a shame Twintel has to fight this weirdo. Wow, that's sort of rude. Okay, what do we got here? We got the Chilla, we got the Parasol, and we got the Guardian. I haven't used a Parasol or Guardian before, so we'll try some things out here. And the first thing I wanna do is just, she has that, and you can see like she sort of stops in place, and then boom. So that's very interesting. She sort of gets two in one. Oh boy, he was waiting that whole time for me? Are you kidding me, dude? That gotcha. So the thing about the parasol is it, it does punch, but more than that, it can sort of block oncoming attacks. So I'd like to land a shot of it to sort of see that in action. But for now, I could go, also go ahead and charge up and just punch you with the freeze. And now that you're frozen, I could just grab you and whip you. Now the thing is that it doesn't do a ton of damage, 160. There are definitely uh, stronger grabs out there. Ooh, there we go, boom, boom. So let's go ahead and punch you like that. You're frozen again, but I couldn't quite grab you because of the fact that, of course, you were already done. But your twin tail seems really cool. Like she, as a character design, very, very cool because of course, she's just this awesome movie star. She's super popular. Everybody loves her. And there we go. She wins that one. I don't know what kind of, I'm guessing that she's like in a, like an emotional, kind of like, she's like a drama actor. I wanna expect her to be like an action movie kind of actor, but maybe she's, you know, takes all kinds of roles. Now, when it comes to arm choices, Twintel and Helix are actually pretty similar. We both have the shield thing going on. He has double shields right now. Ooh, I hit him. And that's the sort of thing, it just inches closer and closer if you don't do anything about it. Oh, they're gonna kiss, they're gonna kiss. Okay, go. That was dumb of me, but it sort of worked. Hey, look at that, it sort of worked, what do you know? Now, in the last episode, we did level two difficulty, so I'm glad that we're keeping up so far with the level three. Ooh, ooh, no, okay. Still figuring that one out. But I blocked the most of that. I don't know, like some, somehow there is a way to send it back at them. Oh boy. Ooh, like that, right there, I couldn't do it. Come on, well, if you're just gonna have yourself hanging out there, I wanna deal with you whatever way I can. So this is the power up build up, I definitely want that. Apparently I got perfect last round, I didn't even realize that. Ooh. Oh, that was good. Bada boom, bada boom. So I might as well use my super here if I get the chance to. Uh, That was decent, that was decent, that worked. Interesting combo. Don't really know what I think about it. It seems like it's good to have at least one attack related arm out there, so I'm gonna be using the Chilla a lot in today's episode and then probably switching between the Umbrella and the Shield. I don't think it would be a good idea to go ahead and use an Umbrella Shield combo. We'll have to find out though. If we find ourselves having an easy time, we'll experiment a bit. If not, we'll play it safe as always. Match do. Ooh, we're going against the tough characters right away. I mean, they're all tough. They're all tough. Match to the sequel. It's Twintel versus the Ramen Bomber Min Min. Get the queen of the silver screen. That is such a tongue twister. Defeat the girl from the ramen shop. Only one twin. Oh, wait, wait. Only one will Twintel. I get it. But yeah, it's cool having a freezing related arm. I haven't seen this too much. I've been frozen quite often. But when he charges up, of course, they will be frozen in place and then you have an excellent opportunity to go in for a grab, so all I have to do is land it. And I'm not landing it so far. She's coming in nice and careful, which I don't appreciate, so I'm gonna whip you out of here. I love the whip sound. I always feel like Indiana Jones, which, you know, makes sense. It'd be cool if she just had like a ton of movie references. Oh boy, oh no. Oh boy, this is not good. Come on, oh geez. 
And now she has her super, which is not good. Twin, I'm not Twin Tail, but Min Min is always a character that beats my butt. I just can never do well against her, which is funny, because I didn't play so well as her either. Come on, come on. Oh, what? oh no, 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 I'm gonna lose so quick. No, I'm not going back to level two. I don't care if I'm here for like hours. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be able to defeat level three today. Okay, that's just what's happening. Let's do the Guardian instead. Just wiggling back and forth, wiggle, wiggle. Whoa, that's a weird animation. Ooh. Oh, man, she's so quick. I don't appreciate it. Oh, there we go, got you a little bit. And my shield's getting closer, shield's getting closer, you better be careful. Oh, yeah, that was good right there. I gotta remember my reflective thing. Ooh. Oh, okay, there we go, that was good. I'm getting healed up, she's not. So this time, I'm definitely calling the shots a bit more, never mind. Spoke too soon. I just gotta remember that I'm very vulnerable when I have this shield out, but as long as I keep it out, there you go, I can hit her up with it. There you go, ooh, ooh. Get it back out there, it's getting closer. What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna hit me in the face. Okay, well that works, that works, it's a good good idea. Go, 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 that was decent, that was decent, a lot of damage going out right there. Ooh, okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh. Punch him, oh, that was good. Now you're frozen, going for the grab, finish her off, bada boom. And that's like, I need to charge up that fist. I mean, it's, it's easier said than done. There are a lot of situations where, you know, I, I'm making myself vulnerable by just sitting there and blocking. But let's try that again, because that worked for me. Especially against a character like Min Min, I definitely need to play it safe. Ooh. All right, <laughs> I sort of want to retract it. Oh wow, I, did, I can press it again and it charges. At her. So a lot of these arms do require a lot of experimenting. Now I didn't want her to flinch because of that, which is the unfortunate thing. Because if I can get her, because she flinches very easily, for whatever reason. I mean, probably because she's a lighter weight character. Now she already has her maximum, yeah, that. Ow, oh, that really hurt. I hate it when their superpowers take out more of a quarter of health. It's just like, oh, come on. Let's throw that out. Then, oh, tried to make it go for her. Come on now. And then, go for you, darn it. It's weird to get used to. I don't wanna experiment with it too much because if I'm doing well, I just wanna keep that momentum. Darn it, darn it. You are not winning this one, lady. Come on. No, 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 come on. Come on, shield out. And then charge for you. Oh, that was decent, but. Min Min's always the worst one to go against. I will be here forever if I have to. I'm not going back to level two. That's a good start right there. I froze her and then I grabbed her. That's usually what I want. It's like, I don't know really what determines when they flinch and when they don't. Ooh, that was good though. That was really good. Our arms do latch out pretty darn quick, which is a good thing to take advantage of. Ooh, go for it. What? Oh, come on. I don't like it. I mean, sometimes it's just about playing a lot and getting more used to just how the game works, but I just feel like it's one of those games where sometimes I just, I don't understand why some things work and why th some things don't. Just a bit of a mystery. And as always, in every episode, let me know if you play Twin a lot. Give me some tips and tricks in the comment section if you want to let me know. I just wanna use her. Oh, I just don't know when to utilize it because you really need to put yourself out there for it and then she'll just stare at you like you're crazy then. You know, it's like, then what's the point? I don't understand. And it, wow, that was so much stank and damage. Oh, go for it, 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 go for it. Oh, that was decent. That was decent, we're about even on health now. Oh, oh, okay, go for that. Oh, I missed it, I missed it. Come on, that's rolling right towards her. I missed her. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah! Okay, if I could do that one more time. Oh, if I could do that one more time. That was some of it. Oh, oh, there we go, that was good. That was a better round right there. I need to keep doing that though. Like I can't let up at all. Like I wanna try the parasol, but this works for now. And if it works for now, it's what I'm going for. Oh, I missed it that time. Oh, darn. I was trying to jump around it there. I mean, next time she tries that. Ooh, that was decent, that was decent. Cause you never know what move I'm gonna make. Cause I could even go closer like that. She has double, you know, megas, I think. Megawatt, yeah, it's a megawatt. 
Oh, oh, that was good, that was good. Get out of here, I'll take the heals, you can leave. These are mine now, or not. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Ooh. Oh, I should have tried to dodge a little more. Okay, that was a dumb idea, but it worked. It worked. It worked for whatever reason. I just want to hit her with my freeze. I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to do one punch. Oh, geez, come on. Come on. Okay, well, she sort of messed up towards the end of that there. I was able to dodge out of it. But once you are able to dodge out of it, you keep dodging, it usually works out. Ooh. Oh, okay, that was good, that was good. Whip her out of here. Whip her back into shape, maybe. I mean, she's not out of shape. No matter how many calories and carbs Robin has, she is definitely in shape. Shows that it's not only about what you eat, it's about what you output as well. I mean, also because she's a fictional character, <laughs> that might also add to it. She can eat a world's worth of ramen and not gain a pound because she's fictional, and if the authors don't want her to, she doesn't have to. All right, we beat her. That took a lot of effort. See, she, she, she has like the French voice to her, which is cool because obviously that makes sense, but like Mechanicon seems to have Spanish like influences, but doesn't seem to have the Spanish, maybe, I'm, maybe my ears are broken and I just don't hear it correctly, but to me it just, just doesn't sound very close to her, you know, regional connection, which I mean, there's no problem with that, it's just odd. All right, the more, oh yeah, we're playing this. Fun, fun, I can't wait. We're doing this. Get a hair workout in. I wonder, she must have a wicked stylist. You know, that's another thing, is that Twintel must have like the best stylist somebody can get. Because it's just like, who takes care of hair like this? Besides yourself, I'm sure she does. Ooh, I like this, because it's just like, oh, you're so focused on getting these points, you just don't realize this lumbering shield inching towards you, waiting to destroy you. And as long as I keep the accuracy up with this, okay, that's not good. Things should be fine. Ooh, I, I, the thing is, is I accidentally punched my own shield and that's not fun. Oh, ah, oh, Mr. The peripheral is not that great because it's just hard to see when it's getting close. And okay, maybe the shield wasn't the best idea. She's taking the big leading points now. Oh, no, I definitely made a huge mistake with the shield. <laughs> Come on, no, 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 no. Punch that over there and go like this. Oh, she's gonna beat me. Oh, I hate this game mode. I hate this game mode so much. Why is this mandatory? I wanna play the fighting part, not the mini game part. <sighs> All right, I'll try different arms. We'll give it another shot. I know, blah, 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 she won. Rematch. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this. And hopefully this is better. We can go for a grab right away. That worked! I actually got some points out of that. Oh, oh yeah, get out of here with your grab, lady. I don't need your grabs. But I could use a few of my own. The homie right there, and I don't like that. She's making it work. And if I could freeze her, that'd actually be a really great opportunity. I'm punching away her grabs a lot, though, which is pretty nice. Ooh, there we go. Got some decent amount of control going on there. Ooh, boy. Punch it, punch it, there we go. All right. That wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. I'm hitting her a lot more than she's hitting me. And it's all, it all it took was not having the shield out. <laughs> Once I did that, I'm turning it all around on her. I mean, she still has time to turn around on me, of course. Jeez, like what did I just say, what did I just say? Okay, hold on, punch that right over to her. Don't you punch it back, rude. That was a gift. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna turn around on me. Are you, I hate this game mode so much. Ah, oh, come on. I actually won, yay. <laughs> That took way too many tries. I, I'm just not a fan of this game mode. But that's sort of the thing I don't get. Like, you're be trying to become an arms fighter. Oh yeah, by the way, let's just play basketball. Cause that has something to do with being an armed fighter. Right? No? Oh, well, we're Nintendo, so we'll do whatever we want. <sighs> it just happens like that. Match four, man. I've been recording for like almost 30 minutes and only match four. Oh boy. I really gotta get comfortable with a character to really play well as a, if not, I just play awful. The plot thickens. I love all the movie references though. Or like, I guess movie re like related references. I don't know. Let's get started. I only have so much time in the day. Let's do the parasol. I haven't been doing the parasol too much. Going against Ribbon Girl. So the movie performer versus the music performer. Will the worlds ever cross? Maybe they do now. They'll, they'll realize how good of competitors they are. 
And they're like, hey, we should call at some point. All right. Let's try to get you if we can, or, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So, so far, so good. I'm on the platforms, which might be great. Let's do our magical flippy flip. It didn't do anything for us, but that's okay. I just, I still haven't done anything with this thing. It's so weird to me. Oh, no, come on. It's just like the perfect strategy. Just don't do anything while she does it. And it's just like, then what do you do with it? <laughs> like you can use it to sort of, you know, fool them. Oh, I'm going left, nope, I'm going right, which is great when you can use it for that, but the other half of its function. All right, well, that didn't work. Oh, she's in the air. Go now, go now, go now. That was good right there. And it's sort of the, you know, the big weakness to Ribbon Girl is that she's just in the air so much you can catch her out with that. So glad I was able to do that. But we got more to do. I want to keep with the parasol. Ooh. But I really like the idea of just hitting with the snow fist with the chilla and then freezing them with it. Because that's just sort of a good base to keep attacking them after that if they don't flinch. It's just hard to land it, especially on a character like Ribbon Girl who's just all over the place. But there you go, got it. She didn't flinch. I'm going to grab her now. And that's a really good combo. She still has her super though. I got to be careful. And I jumped. My first reaction is to jump like a dingus. So disappointed in myself. Punch her. Oh. Oh, no, she blocked. That was a quick block right there. I wish I could block that quickly, but no. My my dumb booty just wants to jump all the time. Come on. Oh, yeah, that was good. Okay. Oh, she knew. She, she's too quick, but not quick enough, apparently. I almost had my super. They dodged the the, uh, the parasol like super easy. Okay, she's in the air. Go for her. That was good. I finished off with a super power. Super twice in a row. Pretty nice this scene. I like it. All right, so now we're starting to charge through. I got really held up with the uh, the the you know the hit the targets whatever. But now we're starting to roll through quicker. We got ourselves Kid Cobra. Kid Cobra shouldn't be too bad, right? Halfway there, if Twin Tail versus a speed demon, Kid Cobra, we hear his snake board was made at a factory that also makes arms, though it is used full yun. Something about something. Okay. I'm gonna wiggle my arms for good luck. Good luck, wiggle. Then I'll get on my snake board. Whoa! <laughs> there goes my good luck ceremony. I mean, I did turn it around on him. I didn't end up doing more damage to him. Never mind. I was like, good luck, immediately smacked in the face. Oh, gotcha. Just go ahead and boom, there we go, that was good, but he did immediately flinch, which isn't good. Oh, he is so quick, his dodge is so incredibly fast. I'm gonna wait for this bomb to show up, and I'm gonna punch right towards him, or not. Ooh. Punch it, there we go. And he is out of there. He's like completely gone. But I'm doing more damage to him than he's doing to me. Got a nice and charged up, missed. Ooh. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> I was trying to hit him on the outside, hoping that he would dodge, expecting me to hit on the center. Didn't really work out that way, did it? Ooh. I started out well, started turning around on me. And as long as he's on that snake, he should be able to block it, but he didn't there. Jeez, I just landed like next to nothing there. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Throw your fist, huh? You're gonna throw it? He's just gonna get so close to me so that when I do have the chance to grab him, I won't be able to do much about it. But I did get him, so that's good. Round one to me. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> I think he's saying ciao. Goodbye, ciao. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Accidentally hit the Joy-Con when I wanted to press L and R. The curse of having homes. Well, let's give it a shot. Like, I wanted to see like where the purpose of this or a double shield is. Like, I know I've seen some of the NPCs use it, the CPUs. They are playable. It's just, you know, computers playing them. But, oh geez. I had my arm out, so. Wasn't gonna work my line. That's not coming towards me, I can tell you that much. Ouch. But I think I might actually end up losing this round because of this, but it does have like a weird movement to it. All right, well now that you're, come on, jump, buddy. Oh. These arms move slower though. I just need to get you off of there now, which is not gonna be easy. No, nope. okay, he's, there we go, that was good, that was good. 
And now that I just want to get off this thing, to be honest with you, get me off this crazy thing. I miss both of them. I miss both of them. I, oh my gosh. Yeah, double parasol's a dumb idea. Oh, it's a really dumb idea. Like, I'm just gonna have to grab over and over again. It just sort of seems to be what's working. That and we can hit this on him, which is not gonna happen in this situation. Wow, okay, that was really close though. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I think I actually deflected his one shot a little bit there with my fancy stuff. See, it was about to hit me, but it didn't. Boom. Let's wait here. I'm blocking his snake board, which is actually a decent strategy. Oh, okay, I could actually let this time out and win, which might be what I have to do because I have double parasol. Go, 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 finish him off. Nice, I probably shouldn't have done that, but it was a KO. That was our second one, so it's fine. All right, there we go. We have won. Drink your tea. I hope it's those, I'll drink my tea. We'll go drink together. Ah, that's some good tea. English breakfast. It's not breakfast time. It's a little past noon. All right, match six, don't lose focus. I'm glad to be going against a tough character like Ninjara and basketball. That's always good. Let's, I know, b ball, b ball, b ball. We know. All right, we're doing that. <laughs> That's my version of randomizing the arms. Because I just don't know what to choose. I feel like I should do double chill on. Like maybe it's not a good idea. I sometimes feel like it is. Swap! Yeah! <laughs> I missed it the first time, not the second time. Dunked. Ooh, okay. Do I wanna do something? I'm gonna slap you in there. This time I won't miss. What you gonna do, huh? Cause I can sit here and stall out. Ooh, have that. That's my gift to you. You're welcome. Oh, how'd I miss? Get out of here. I'm not missing again. Is that a three pointer? That is a three pointer. We're way out of here. I'm just gonna stick back here then and see if I can't get another three pointer. Will that be? That will be because we're outside of the little black area. Like you see the black ground. And then I guess that's like the two pointer area and then everything outside of that is a three pointer. So there we go. Really quick win there. Matt, see, so she said a real word. Most well, of these people, they don't. They're just like, oh, zoo, zoo. That's, that's the Sims. <laughs> Masterpiece. Yeah. I mean, I guess some of them do say real words. This is not often. Versus the bouncer spring man. Spring Stadium is managed by his home gym. Do you think the weight of his training buddies, expectations, put it any undue pressure on him? I hope not. All right, let's do double chilla. It's, it's just arms versus arms here. I like this, boxing gloves. Let's duke it out. Got a good start there. Ooh. Okay, that was dumb of me. He got his charge up there. Oh. Oh no. What? Go. Sorry, I wasn't talking there for a couple seconds because I just really wanted to focus on getting him. Ooh, I'm gonna heal. You are not. Okay, maybe you are. You know what? Just don't hurt him. Oh, come on. He's so quick, man. He is so quick. Oh. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. He definitely got in the lead of health there because of the healing. Punch him. Oh, man, he is so quick at pulling out that, that block. I wish I could do that so quick. Like that. Yeah, see, was that so bad? It just, I'd rather go for a grab, but I guess it's not always the best situation. Oh. No, I missed. Because you do get the charge out of it. Okay, that was dumb of me. Why did I even jump? Like, that's the thing. I'm so, like, used to trying to jump to put them off. But that's not always necessary. Ooh, that was a good one. Ooh, that was a good move right there, but I wasn't able to follow it up correctly. Come on, make a move, dude. Make my day! Never mind. It's always him that blocks like most of my supers. Oh, that was good though. This is close. I could try to stall out for the next couple seconds, but I might not get the victory that way. Oh, I don't need it! Get out of here, Springman, look at that face. He was like, eesh, that hurts. There we go, with seven seconds to spare, no health left, I beat him. Beat him good. I'm gonna stick with this. He's actually going to the double, uh, what's her called? Not happening, buddy. And that's where it's like, it's really good to wait and try to take the second move. You know, waiting for them, stalling out, trying to take that second move is usually the best thing. But unless, you know, you have the skill to reply to what they're gonna throw at you, it's not gonna be worth it. 
Come on. Oh, no, I'm blocking it. Look at me. Look at me. All right. What? What? Oh, get out of here. This is mine. So this is my chance to really bring it to him. Oh, oh, that hurt. That, that was my chance to really bring it to him. Come on, come on, come on. That was good, that was good, that was good, that was good. If I did that like a millisecond too late, I think it would have ended me. I think I could have actually grabbed him there. Whoa! When uh, he was, you know, bouncing off the spring there, I think I could have actually grabbed him there. There we go. I think we could find out at some point if that's how it works. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was good. He is low. So I think we've got this in the bags. Maybe. I don't want to be speaking too soon. Oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. We won. Nice. Au revoir. <laughs> awesome stuff. That was good. So we're really starting to pick it up. I'm getting used to Twin Town. Victoire. Victoire. That has to mean victory. For obvious reasons. That has to mean victory. Uh, match eight. Oh, yeah. Well, we're really steaming through it now. Whoa. Bite and bark shouldn't be too, like, I have some odd amount of confidence against them. The drama builds. It's Twin Tail versus the Clockwork Cops. A small platform in the middle of the ring can be jumped on. Jump off it to close in on your opponent and quickly do some blah, blah, blahs. I just like the double chill on. So is this bouncy? I think it's a little bit bouncy. It's hard to tell. In this perspective, it's really hard to tell, but I guess it's supposed to be like a trampoline. What? Nice. Took advantage of you there. But be careful of the pooch. Punch a pooch, I'm so sorry. No. Yeah, okay. Bada boom. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh boy. Nice. Right, this is such a cool area though. This might be my favorite map, like for everything outside of it. Like, I mean, I don't really care, you know, either much at all for what's inside of the map. But everything happening outside, like there's just like a, a cool crowd. I guess we're sort of on an airship if you see the turbines in the background there. On the other side, you get an awesome landscape and also a lot of cool pictures of Biff. Like, that's sort of the thing you don't realize about Biff is that Biff is also an arms fighter, which is crazy. I really hope he becomes a playable character at some point. Because there has been some official art of Biff where you can see his arms are coiled like an arms fighter. And if you saw the promotional art in the background there, you can see his arms stretching. So not only is he like a big arms fan, but look in the background there, the one on the right, you can see his arms stretching. I would love to play as Biff. What's interesting is if you see the middle picture, it almost looks like he's sort of like a dog or whereas like his front legs and his back legs are the same. Maybe that's not the case. That'd be cool if he could use all four. Like, what I imagine if all fours of his could stretch. That'd be a really cool dynamic of a character. I mean, that would sort of almost be like Headlock, but different. Oh boy, that hurts. Hmm. All right, what are you gonna do? I mean, I really don't know how many characters they're going to add after Max Brass, because if you look, you can tell there's just enough room on the player select for a 10th character and for there to be a random button. So like, I wonder, if they do even plan on adding characters after that. Cause you know, the, what they could end up doing is just adding more maps and different arms and everything without having to add more uh, characters, which would be a huge bummer in my opinion and a hugely wasted opportunity, but it could be what they do. I would hate that though. I really want to see new characters. Either they be from existing characters like Biff or if it's, you know, just completely new creations, that'd be amazing. Okay, she says like the most real words out of any character. That's a wrap. I mean, maybe there's other characters saying it in other languages. For, for me, it doesn't sound like anything coherent. It just sounds like gibberish for the most part. And any other characters like Master Mummy, they are definitely speaking gibberish. They're just like rah, rah, one act away. He really likes all the movie puns. Let's get the punching. I think I actually will use a guardian against him. I think it'll work out well. Maybe it won't, but we'll find out. Because it's like once he's, yeah, right there. You just see, you just take advantage of it. And he's gonna have a hard time dodging like that. And then I can go in for the grab, start whipping you around. And that's pretty good right there. Master Mummy, I don't think is gonna be a big deal for us. He's gonna be able to block a lot of my snowy punches because, you know, he just likes blocking. That's his thing. Ooh. Get it, and then punch that over to you. Missed it a little bit, but I'll just go in for the grab anyways. I'm a dingus. I, that actually would have hit him maybe then. All right. I just assumed he was gonna move and then it was gonna roll a little bit more, but it did not. Ooh. Come on, it's gonna, it's inching in. Is that what are you gonna do? <laughs> Nothing? Okay, I'll punch you then, or grab you, or something. All right, I definitely wanna hit that one towards him. Well, that was sort of towards him. Oh, there we go, boom, bam. 
160 damage all I need, you're out of here. All right. So that's some good stuff right there. Great start against Master Mummy. This is match nine, right? I think so. Oh, I already forgot, I'm pretty sure it is, because he said it was one act away. And obviously if it was match eight, then it would be two acts away, so. Definitely wanna build up my super. I don't have it yet, but he has his, so I gotta be careful because of that! No way, that was such a huge grab! Holy cow, oh man, that was just a big fist. I actually do have the Megaton for her, but I always like, you know, this is our first time playing these characters, so I like using, you know, their base set. That way, you know, if you can learn anything, oh my gosh, what was with that turnaround, huh? Go, 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 go. Hit, her, hit him with everything we got, because we are so low here, I have missed interpreted his ability. Come on, throw something then. Throw something. Nice, okay, that was good. Can I survive with this little itty bit of health? I'm gonna be doubtful. Oh, oh no, I'm, I, I might die here. I did not, that's good. Ooh, that could have been bad. That also could have been bad. Come on, get him. There we go, bada boom, bada bing. Charge up, throw a punch, dodge that, grab him. Oh man, that was good. Jeez, I was at the lowest possible health that you can't even see the green on the bar at all. You better sip that tea. I'm gonna sip it too. I am now out of tea. I don't need it for Max Brass. I sure hope so. The grand finale, here it is. <laughs> you and your big pearly whites, not lights. <laughs> Listen to that crowd, the fans are fired up. It's Swindell versus the Kamish Max Brass. The statues of him towering over the ring are a testament to his monumental arms status. Can Twindell reach yet another pinnacle in her illustrious career? It's a grand finale, let's go! It's interesting that Twindell is one of the more older experienced characters from what I've seen. You know, most of them are teenage, except for Master Mummy, who's of course a mummy who seems to be hundreds of years old. You know, we sort of you know talked about that in the Master Mummy episode. We don't really know how old he is, but he's probably plenty old. Ooh, ooh, get up, get up, I'll punch again. <laughs> Come on, grab him. Ooh, he got me good that time. That was a, that's, he has an interesting fist. He definitely has like a, some unique fists I've never seen before. Ooh. So it'd be cool that, you know, like if he has like a special fist that isn't available to get in the game, that'd be cool if that unlocks in the, uh, the content patch in July. Hmm. There we go, no, 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 no. No. All right, Mr. Brass. We have the only content update we're getting this month is apparently sometime this month we're supposed to be getting the uh, ability to spectate properly, which is pretty cool, especially for the esports related stuff of this game. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna be delving too far into that, but I'm really glad to see that you know, that kind of stuff is happening because this game, it seems like it's gonna be really esports viable, which is really cool. I'm gonna throw this out this time. Oh, I didn't do too much, <laughs> he just sort of punched it away. Okay, buddy. You're having your fun? Ouch, ouch, you really are having your fun. But I don't know, apparently there's been weird arguments going on that ARMS isn't a fighting game and it shouldn't be treated like one in esports. It's like, I don't understand the, the problem. If people wanna play it, they should be able to play it and and if people wanna play it competitively, like, what, what are we to stop them? Just have fun. <laughs> I don't understand how people make video games such a big deal. Like, my video game is better than your video game. No, they're all just video games. You just press buttons and things happen on the screen. It's all the same. Oh, there you go, bada bing, bada boom. It's okay to have your preferences, but don't say that your preferences are better than other people, because that's just not true. Oh, geez. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, well, he's getting healed up. I don't like that, so I gotta smack him out of here and grab whatever other healing I can, which was only a little bit, but it's gonna pump me more on par with him. Ooh, oh, freeze him up, grab him up. That was really good, grab him all the way across the arena. Might as well have been in another tri-state area with that one. All right, I don't have much opportunity to mess up here, but I don't need it. We win. Level three difficulty, I'm glad to see we were able to beat that. Cause my, I gotta say, my confidence was pretty shattered last episode when I had to go back down to level two difficulty. And even the beginning of this episode, that wasn't fun that I, I was struggling there. But we did it, 41 points, sounds great to me. We win with Twin Town. Let's see the victory. Like, how is she gonna hold the belt? Because usually they all have like an own special, their own special way, except for Mechanica, who just sort of, you know, put it on normally. Take a look at the final results. Okay. Now that's a score we're celebrating. I hope so. 
I mean, the hardest part was going against Mechanica. And they we get a little star, I guess, for the, the perfect we got against, uh... What's his name? The one, or he likes, and your new grand champion! Oh yeah, she holds it pretty cool. I was hoping her hair would hold it. The Silver Queen's screen, I'll never be able to say that. From the red cover to arm royalty, congratulations! Awesome, that's a huge belt. Another arms grand pretty draws to a close out at the thank of the competitors and the fans at home. See you next time, folks. Very cool, so Twintel wins another piece of gold for her mantle, I'm sure, and next to all of her Oscars and Emmys and Whatever those rewards mean. But there we go, we beat us with Twintel. I actually enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would. I just did, I just, I've been having bad luck with some of the characters like Master Mummy and um, even Min Min I wasn't doing so well with. So I'm glad that I had one that I feel like I did pretty decent with. I mean, still level three, I need to, you know, find a character. Besides Ninjara, I can do level four. That might not ever happen. All right, boom. Nice, nice, nice. Decent start right there. Ooh, the Chakram. That's what they're called, right? I think so, for uh, Twintel. Ooh, we got some Helix Arms as well. I need more clocks, more clocks and presents, please. We're doing decent so far. Nice, that was really good. Nice, there's a third present. Can we get a clock? I don't get, I guess not. <sighs> Darn, oh well. Three presents, that's starting to become my average, which is a big deal. We got the Chakram. Their quick, curving attacks leave no escape. Once an ancient ninja weapon, modern technology has revitalized their appeal. Awesome, and then we have the Seeky. So we got two Twintel arms, very cool. Designed to hunt down and shock bad guys. These were originally developed as Crime Stoppers. The farther away an opponent, the better they do. That's very cool, so that's a form, of course, the of the homie. This is a retorture. Of course, we've read that one a few times now. Retorture seems to be one of the most common arms, but that's gonna finish it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Arms. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Hair, so I know you've watched in the video, and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. But also, if you enjoyed today's video and you wanna see more, make sure you check on some of the videos on your screen right now for more Zebra-tastic goodness. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.